Welcome to Tales from the Whisk Camp. Today I'm going to show you how to make lemon curd. Uh, lemon curd can be used on your toast or bagels in the morning. Uh, with a little bit of butter, you just spread it on your toast or bagels as if it were a jam. I like to make it and then put it in a pre-cooked tart shell, then put the tart back in the oven for a few minutes. It makes an amazing lemon tart. So what we're going to do is in a medium sized saucepan, we're going to whisk together six eggs, a cup of sugar, and the juice of two lemons. So we're just going to whisk that really quickly to make sure all the egg yolks are broken. Sorry about that little mess. Now most recipes are going to tell you to cook this on a double boiler. Um, that prevents it from uh, turning into lemon flavored scrambled eggs. Um, I have a lot of practice making lemon curd so I just skip the double boiler and go straight to the pan. Um, if you're not comfortable, you have to keep a really good eye on it if you're going to cook it over flame like that. If you're not comfortable with that then you can just do the double boiler method. So now that we've got our eggs, sugar, and lemon juice mixed, we've got it cooking on a medium flame, medium to low, I would say would be safe. We're gonna add five ounces of unsalted butter cut into little cubes. And recipes will also say to add the butter at the end after the lemon curd has been cooked. Um, I like to add it at this stage because I find it prevents um, the eggs from curdling actually. So what we do is we're going to switch our spatula and just start stirring it. It's going to take a while for the butter to melt and to, for the curd to start to thicken. So what we're going to do is just uh, start stirring this until the butter melts. And just make sure you get in the bottom of the pan, on the sides, um, and just keep stirring it very well. So now that almost all of our butter is melted, it's going to start thickening. So you want to keep a real good eye on it, making sure you really scrape the bottom of the pan. Um, nobody likes uh, lemon flavored scrambled eggs. And what you're looking for is going to start thickening up here pretty soon. And what you're looking for is the consistency almost of pudding. Um, maybe not as thick as pudding is, but that's that's we're looking for the consistency of warm pudding how about that that is kind of what we're looking for here and sometimes I like to flavor this with a vanilla bean or even a, a little bit of lavender blossom um, it gives it a nice flowery taste um, you do have to be careful when using lavender blossom because if you use too much it's gonna taste like grandma's perfume um, so I would say probably like an eighth of a teaspoon for this. Um, if you're going to add a vanilla bean, I would just add a whole vanilla bean split lengthwise and then the seeds scraped out of it. So great, now our, all of our butter is melted and it's um, going to start thickening up here pretty soon.
Okay, so I can feel it on the bottom of the pan, it's starting to thicken, so this should probably be ready to take off the flame. I would say no more than two to three minutes. So as you can tell, it's starting to get nice and glossy and thick. I'm just gonna give it a few more stirs here. Really getting the bottom of the pan. Cool. So we are nice, this is nice, thick. We're gonna turn it off, and then what we're gonna do is pass it through a strainer real quick. So here we have our bowl with our strainer. And as you can see, it looks a little curdled, but once you pass it through the strainer, all those little bits are gonna end up uh, breaking up and you're gonna get a really nice, smooth lemon curd. So what we're gonna do now is just Spatula. And be careful not to spread over the sides of your uh, strainer because then what you're trying to strain is just going to end up back in the bowl. There we go. So we now have gotten all those little bits of eggs that kind of cooked up. It's usually going to look like just a bunch of whites. Um, we've got those out of our mixture. Make sure you uh, scrape the bottom of your strainer. You don't want to miss any of that lovely lemon curd. And now we're going to add the zest of two lemons. And quickly stir that in. And there you have it. That is how you make lemon curd. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, let us know what you think of it.